Hi, I'm Chef Mike from Kirkwood Community College. In today's edition of our culinary video series, I will be showing you how to prepare a classic Caesar dressing from scratch. So here we go. The first step, um, we're going to make a mayonnaise. So I've got myself a stainless steel mixing bowl here. I'm going to take um, a couple wet towels that I've had set aside here, make myself a nice stable base to hold my mixing bowl. Uh, this is key for making our mayonnaise from scratch. So we'll be doing a lot of whisking, so I want the mixing bowl to stay stable and not float around my cutting board. Um, so the first step to a mayonnaise is we're going to use one egg yolk uh, separated. And uh, the basic idea of the mayonnaise is we're going to make an emulsion of oil and liquid, uh, oil and water. So uh, we're going to start with the egg yolk, make sure to mix that up really good. And then I'm going to add a couple more ingredients, so add a little bit of Dijon mustard and just a touch of white wine vinegar. Mix that all up nice and thoroughly. And then we're going to start by very slowly drizzling in our vegetable oil. I've got a canola olive oil blend here that I like to use for making mayonnaise. So just a few drops at a time, constant whisking. Make sure our emulsion stays stable. If you pour the oil in too fast, uh, the mayonnaise can separate and break on you. So we're trying to keep it, keep it together by the process of constant whisking with a very slow incorporation of the oil. You can see the mayonnaise is starting to come together, getting a little bit thicker. Uh, we're going for, you know, what we call a mayonnaise consistency. So if you're familiar with jarred mayonnaise, uh, it's the same idea. Something nice and spreadable, not too liquidy, uh, but we'll keep an eye on how thick we make it. So we're using one egg yolk for this mayonnaise. Our general ratio is that one egg yolk will hold about seven to eight ounces of oil. So I've got myself just over a cup of oil here. We probably won't use all of it, uh, but I'll use just enough to make a nice thick base, which we'll use for our Caesar dressing. So it's starting to thicken up nicely. You can see it's got nice thickness to it. I think that's about enough oil. Um, at this point, we can thin it out a little bit. I like to add a little bit of lemon juice to balance out some of that fat from the oil. And I'll also season it with salt and white pepper. And then um, even at this point, if it still seems a little bit too thick, instead of adding more vinegar or lemon, uh, sometimes we'll use a little bit of water. Oops. So just a little bit of cold water. We'll thin it out to the right consistency. Make it nice and smooth. All right, so we've got our mayonnaise base. Um, the next step, we're going to take that and put it into a container that we will be mixing up our Caesar dressing in. So I've got a clean quart container here. I'm going to scrape my mayonnaise right in there. Use a nice rubber spatula to get all that mayonnaise out of the bowl. Get all that good stuff off of there. And now, we have the base for our Caesar dressing. So that's the mayonnaise. I'll set that aside for a moment. Uh, we're going to add red onion, garlic, and anchovies. So bases, the basic flavoring agents for this mayonnaise. So the first thing I do is going to dice up some red onion, really small. I'm only going to need about a tablespoon, so starting with a full half an onion here, but I'm only going to need a small portion of it, so 
That should be about enough red onion for us. So I'll take that, take our garlic, smash that down, give that a rough chop. And then we will also take our anchovy here. It's about a teaspoon of anchovy is what we're looking for. Now I'm going to give this all a nice chop together. <clears throat> Make it nice and small so we don't get any big chunks of garlic or anchovy in our dressing. We are going to blend it all up um, in the end, but this just helps to ensure that it will be evenly incorporated throughout the dressing. So I've got that all nice and minced up. I'm going to take my dressing or my mayonnaise base. Drop all the ingredients in there. Give my cutting board a quick clean here. And I'm gonna step over and clean off my knife. Wipe down my station here. All right, so now I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients to my dressing here. Uh, I've got some fresh Parmesan cheese that I've grated, uh, about a tablespoon. Drop that in, a uh, little bit of Tabasco sauce, some Worcestershire, and again, some more Dijon mustard. Give that dressing a little bit more of a kick. And then I'll add a little bit of lemon and use that at the end if I need to balance it out again. So that's basically all the ingredients in there. I'm going to use this immersion blender and blend this all up, incorporate it into a nice smooth dressing. Sure, we get all that, all the chunks of garlic and onion, anchovies, all evenly blended in. And then we're going to look at it, adjust it for taste and texture. So I'm going to give it a little taste, see how it is. I can see that that needs a little pinch more salt, a little more pepper. I'm going to adjust that with a little bit more lemon juice here. And then um, it's a little bit thick for my taste. So again, I'm going to use that water just to thin it out just a little bit so it's a nice salad dressing consistency. So I'll stir that all in. We want a nice thick hearty dressing here, um, but we want it too thick so it clumps up on our lettuce. So there we go. Nice consistency. Kind of sticks to the spoon but falls off nicely and uh, there we have our classic Caesar dressing.